All right, welcome back to Can Open for Kids. This is Dan Goth here, and we're in the segment called Smoke the Shoe, where I get to bowl one ball, and my lucky contestant is going to get up to three balls to try to beat me. Uh, my contestant today is... Aaron Fontaine. And uh, you are a special relationship to one great bowler, I understand, right? Can you tell us who that bowler is? Tom Olsta. No, 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 I meant your brother, the one who's Nathan. on the show, right? Nathan? Oh, I can't believe he said Tommy. Uh, all right, well, you're going to try to prove you're better than your brother now by smoking me, right? Yeah. You think you're going to do it? I think I can. Any predictions for what I'm going to throw? I'm going to say at least five or six pins. Ah, you got a lot of faith in me. All right. Have a seat for a minute. I'm going to use your bowling balls and let Steve hold my microphone. And All right, here we go. I'm looking at a half whistle. What do you think? Nathan, what do you think? Nathan, come here. What do you think? Come on over here. Oh, he got a two and he fouled. Does he get to count those two, Nathan? I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think that's a zero. Zero? So you gotta get one pin kid. How do, how do you kids bowl up there on that sticky lane? Do you have shoes on? I do. All right, this is gonna be uh, well, 20 if he beats that one. for this ball. guy. He's awesome. Like we give him 30 for a strike. There it is. That's a winner. Yeah. <laughs> but he gets to finish the box still, though. It's a 50. Great job. <laughs> we'll see if he can spare it up. He gave me a little too much credit with saying I was going to get six. It's a nice ball. <laughs> Aaron tried out today. Yep. Came in fourth came place. In fourth place. That's right. Almost made it. Give his brother some pointers. I believe he rolled about a 288 for three strings. Nice hey, finish. Hey, nice shot. Great job. Good High job, fives. Aaron. We'll Great be right job. back with match two. All right, we're back with Candlepin for Kids. We're in game two of the 11 and under age group, and Michaela Turtlelot is ready to lead us off here. We have an eight pin difference in the match. It's a very, very close game here. Turtlelot and Fontaine are at 80. LaPlante and Johnson are at 88. Anybody's ball game. A newfound respect for the form of these kids after falling over the line myself. That was pretty good style. You get anything for style points? Not a nice ball by I don't know. I, I, we just got done talking about balance and follow through, Shu. Your balance was a little off, a little big guy. Off. There's a nice nine by Michaela Turtlelot to start the second game. And a nine by Ashley LaPlante. Great job by the young ladies. Ashley uh, LaPlante's stats are here and her fun facts her favorite TV show is victorious she has a favorite movie it's despicable me we just my family and I just watched that a few nights ago yeah I just her favorite song is the time her favorite food she loves tacos <laughs> and, and at school she loves art her hobby is skating. I wonder if that's ice skating. Ashley carries an average of 78. She has a high single of 102. And we'll be looking for a couple more pins here. Michaela Turtlelot with a five. Michaela had a five. And Ashley with an eight. So LaPlante and Johnson have picked up a few more pins. It's 17 to 14 after two frames. As we said earlier, this is our last event of the season for doubles. We'll, ha we'll host the championship show either at the end of March or beginning of April at the Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill, Mass. And then we'll also come back to Haverhill at the end of May, May 22nd, for the team event. We expect nearly 100 bowlers for this event, and we have some uh, friends from Canada that will be down to visit us and participate. Michaela with an eight, she's at 22. Ashley with nine at 26. It's a 12-pin difference in the match. Both Michaela and Ashley still looking for their first spare or strike. 
This is a great ball by Turtle Lot, Dan. Oh, yeah. Nearly running down the four horsemen. Great one, two, try. Four, one, two, four, and didn't quite carry the seven. Like to mention, Michaela Turtelot is part of the North East, uh, excuse me, Northeast Youth Travel League. Bob Brown, the coach at the Woburn Bolodrome, is the president, and he runs a great program for the kids. We have kids from all over the state of Massachusetts that compete. Michaela picked up five pins there, Dan. Yeah, it was it's, big. It's 31-30, and it's now a seven-pin difference in the match. LaPlante with a four. Michaela's got a makeable spare. I think this wood may get in her way. She's going to try to use it. A great try. Two consecutive boxes in a row, leaving up just one pin. Nice try by Ashley LaPlante. She has the head pin remaining. Girls are looking for a 10, and they both settle for nine. A great job by our young ladies. So at the halfway point, Turtle Aunt Fontaine are at 40, LaPlante and Johnson are at 39, and it's a seven pin difference in the match overall. The winners will be moving on to the championship show and more gift cards. Nathan Fontaine gets to lead us off in this half. Hunter Johnson, our top seed, on lane 10. As we said earlier, Hunter, Hunter represents the Fecals Bowlerdrome in Franklin, Mass. I believe that's where professional bowlers Dave Chestakov and Skip Easterbrooks are from. There's a nice nine by Fontaine. He picks up a pin, and the lead now is six. Yeah, Hunter, a Johnson's, Hunter Johnson's uh, fun facts. His favorite TV show is the same as Ashley LaPlante's. They both like Victorious. <laughs> His favorite movie is The Last Airbender. His favorite food is pizza. It's probably mine too. And his favorite uh, school subject is social studies. And he loves to play soccer. I'm going to have to check out this show, Victorious. I've never heard of it before. Oh, me neither, Dan. Uh, definitely not up to date with some of the new shows. Hunter's average is 84. He has a high single of 114 and a high triple of 282. Johnson picking up a pin with a 9 to Fontaine's 8. It's 57-56 in the string. Oh, that was a nice ball. And a seven pin difference in the match. Oh, we have a couple makeable spares here. Nathan Fontaine also represents the bogey lanes on the travel teams. We have a boys team. Him and his brother Aaron are on that with Kyle Meskis, Terry Lytle, James Smith, and Dylan Bryan. And they won first place at the Travel League event in East Boston last weekend at the Central Park Lanes. Congratulations to them. That's Chuck Fazella's place. We're down to the final two frames. It's a nail biter, eight pins. We're all tied up here in the second game. 66 all. One mark by either bowler could wrap it up or make a nice comeback. Fontaine on it. Oh, he just missed. He'll be looking for a 10. Nice ball by Hunter Johnson. Same thing, yeah, Dan. Just missed. Just snuck by the hip and one left, one right. One has the one eight, the other has the one nine. Very similar second shots by both bowlers. They both took out the back pin. And they both have a nine. We're in the final frame and we have an eight pin difference. <laughs> Fontaine's gonna need to pull off a mark. It's a nice ball, and he's on the head pin, Dan. Hoping for a spare leave. Oh, oh big ball by Hunter Johnson. <laughs> he couldn't believe it. He thought he had the hammer. I think he's still got an easier leave out of this, though. <laughs> Look at this, though. What a great try. Wow. Wow. An excellent ball by Nathan Fontaine. 
Hunter Johnson, the veteran of our show, with a big clutch spare on the end. A great job. Excellent bowling. Fontaine with the 10 and an 85. Johnson filling the spare, looking for a good seed. And another big <laughs> nine. It's the same pin. Deja vu. That's good enough to wrap up the match and finish with a 94 game. So our totals today, Ashley LaPlante and Hunter Johnson, our top seeds. And our winners today with 88 and 94 for 182. Our runners up, Michaela Turtelot and Nathan Fontaine, 80 and 85 for 165. It was a 17 pin difference in the match. A great match right down to the end. We're going to take a break and we're going to come back with the infamous High Low Jack. Worth a few more gift cards if these kids can knock down all three pins. So don't go away. We'll be right back.